Navigating through the energies of New Earth is not an easy process and can become extremely overwhelming at times. As we all ascend into higher frequencies, we're all being guided to embrace our own unique divine pathway, a pathway created in the vibration of love. Join Vibe Nation radio host, international psychic medium, Carrie Turcott, as she guides her listeners to rediscover themselves by accessing the keys of knowledge that already exist within. Each week's show is divinely orchestrated to intertwine with the universal energies, allowing the listeners to go deeper within and understand the message being shared even greater. When you live in the frequency of love, there is no competition, so Carrie will be joined regularly by fellow soul family members who will bring forth wisdom and knowledge she knows should be shared on a global level. At the end of each show, Carrie will tap into the energies of the listeners to see what message Spirit wants to share with all those listening in for the upcoming week. If you really want to get to know who you truly are, come and join us now on Vibe Nation Radio, here on the IOM Radio Network. Hello, 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 my friends, and welcome to another edition of Vibe Nation Radio, where today I have my first ever mystery guest, who we are going to refer to as I Am. And there is a reason to our madness always on this show, which we will get into deeper. I Am, are you there, my dear? Hello. Thank you for joining me. I really appreciate this. Thanks for having me. And for all those that are listening in, we, we want to go a little bit deeper into some of the most asked spiritual questions out there or things that people are talking about, and they're not really sure because we are shifting into the new. And these new energies, we've never been through this before while physically being alive. And it, people have to re- understand because we've never been here before, we really have to learn how to navigate through on an energetic level. And I feel that one of the biggest topics people are asking about is, you know, we're, we're stepping into this oneness vibration, but where does the duality fall into all this? Would you agree with this, I am? Absolutely, I would. I would agree. It, it's, it's almost like they, when you think of the oneness, my friends, think about your, your, your current reality. Like here we are in a 3D Um, reality you know it's it's an illusion that we've all created as one and when you let go of the vessel and everything that's around you and just see yourself in a sea of energy and you are a frequency within the frequency of the universe and letting go that we are um you know separate and yet there there's two sides to this and this is what we want to talk about that you know, we want to go deeper and just explore this again because we're all new to this. And I, I feel that I am, and I have had enough conversations about this. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I, I feel like what what is spirit guiding you to say right now? I think um, for the most part, we live in this world of um, contradictions, right? And, you know, we have... Uh, we're sort of cut off um, from spiritual dimensions of our our reality, and you know, effectively in our everyday waking existence, this is all that we know who we are. We become this I that seeks pleasure and avoids sort of pain. Our and our capacity for pleasure is limited to our you know our confrontation with and and, and our, with this pain. It's sort of inevitable, right? So we protect ourselves. We unconsciously try to make ourselves the absolute ruler of, you know, our own psychological and material realm. And we, re- we create this kingdom, you know, of boundaries and defenses and, uh, you know, strive to consolidate our power so we can, you know, acquire what we want, you know, to keep and what we want to keep out or what we don't want, right? Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> you know, and... They, Yet, you know, we can fill ourselves, you know, from the material, materialist sort of perspective, you know, this, this kingdom of I or this kingdom, you know, that we've created, you know, as, as being the you know, absolute ruler has this, this substantial, you know, it's a, the substantiality, I, I suppose, of sort of the spider web, right? Mm-hmm. You know, despite our pride or our careful efforts to spin this web, fate can come out and 
brush it away, you know, without any, without resistance. Yeah. Um, you know, um, so we really, uh, you know, uh, we, we tend to, to, uh, you know, depend on this material world for our sense of security and well-being and uh, live in this, uh, you know, uh, perpetual state, uh, you know, of fear and contradiction, right? Yes, absolutely. And, and that's what caused the vibration of duality. Yeah. Right. And, and even when we're, oh, sorry. No, go ahead. Even when we're, even when we're attaining our desires and, you know, we, what we call happiness, we can't help to question whether it's real, how long it'll last. And, you know, what are we to do with our consciousness, our will, our love? These are all the choices that, you know, confuse, distract, and oppress us as humans, right? Yes. Our eye, our eye you know, is, is, is uh, our relationship to the world. And as long as this relationship is characterized by self and world, we are in constant duality. Yes. Yes, absolutely. And, you know, this is important for people to understand that, yes, duality is there, but, you know, on a, on a deeper level, you want to see the oneness of, uh-huh. of how uh-huh. we, we truly are one within the oneness. And together you know, we can truly make a difference in this world. And, you know, it's, there's, there's so many people, I don't know why spirit's bringing me here, but there's a lot of people that still get very fixated on dates. And, okay. you know, again, this is a conversation we've had many a time. So, right. you know, I, I think it's important that we go a little deeper with that as well, that, you know, we're, we're, we're being asked to live in the moment. And uh-huh. when you start to get fixated on dates, you're not living in the moment, you're living in the future. And yeah. tomorrow's not promised. And, yeah. you know, I feel that, you know, with the anxiety of where we're going, you know, that's huge about fixating on the future as well, that people are still being pulled into the past. And, you know, things that are 20, 30 years old, and like, would you get over it? And it's not that they need to get over it. It's they need to go within and they need to heal this. So when people say get over right. it, get over it, it's only causing that vibration to stay in that lower state because they can't get over it. They got to go through it. They got to heal it. Yeah. And instead of living life directly or knowing themselves directly, all our experiences are filtered through these layers of mental and emotional conditioning and, you know, subjective distortions, defense mechanisms and like cultural prejudices. Right. So there's a lot of things that we or, you know, or as an I have to sort of navigate through in order to know, know yourself directly. Absolutely. And, you know, with the energies that are happening right now, you know, this is, this is, again, I, I've been using this scenario for um, the vibe report that, you know, we, we, we're in this all this year. It's like, we're on a train ride. We're on the soul train and you're on the track. If you're in alignment with soul and there's times where we go into caves and right now we're in one of those caves and, you know, today the boys are pretty intense. So those who don't understand what the boys are, that's the ego. And yeah. it's almost that, um, you know, tomorrow I see us coming out of, of the mountain and the cave, and now we're out in the sunshine. If you're in the sunshine, I'm heading into a snowstorm. So, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's just yeah. like, but, you know, this is about soul. When you, when you come out of the cave, it's you're going to get a little bit more clarity, and it's about who am I? You know, again, yeah. this is going back to the I am. And spirit is saying that, you know, they want people to embrace whatever is put into your reality, knowing that when you live in the frequency of the moment, beautiful things can truly happen. And and, and to know that we like currently we're living in this sort of virtual reality of our own creation, right? Yes. And because we've always been in sort of this costume or always wired to, a, you know, the program, so to speak, um, always towards the screen of fantasy, you know, in television. And um, we, we, we haven't really taken the time to know ourselves. And, you know, we're our, at the best of times, people's minds are filled with everything but the truth. Right? Images from consumer culture, manufactured desires, superstitions, hallucinations, you know, beliefs, you know, cliches, da, 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 right? Like, so, you know, all of these things. And so we're occupied with sort of, you know, this mass, mass psychosis of, <clears throat> you know, a, 
a lot of information to, you know, filter filter through that, you know, does does this information, you know, how does this information affect me or is it valid for me? How does that help get me to know myself and my current reality, right? Yes. You know, we've talked a lot about turning away from, you know, social media or, you know, the news. I mean, we've talked about that for years. And yes. and and just getting to know oneself. Yeah. Oh, it's just like, you know, when my neighbor the other day came over and asked me for something and it had to do with the cable. He goes, is there something wrong with your cable? And I'm like, well, I wouldn't know. And he goes, what do you mean? I said, well, I don't have a TV. <laughs> and he just kind of looked at me. Oh, sorry. Let's see. And Jerry Bird wants to get involved in that. That's my very, very uh, in tune with frequencies, birds. And it's almost like he he always starts to get loud. I will cover him up in a moment if he doesn't during the commercial break. But you know how Jerry likes to get involved in these conversations, right? Yes, absolutely. And, and you know, we were talking. It's I, I want to go in deeper into the next commercial after the commercial break. But you know, these timelines that are colliding and. and people putting dates on things. I, I really want to go deeper in that with regards to how, you know, bringing people into the present moment and okay. and not getting fixated on all these dates. And yes, we live in a 3D reality where dates are important because you have to book it in advance, but it's, it's not going there and trying to create what's going to take place when that day comes. Uh-huh. Right? Uh-huh. So it's... Okay. It's, I just feel that, you know, like when I do Vibe, I'll use Vibe Nation Radio as an example that, you know, I never, never put a script. We don't sit there and say, well, okay, we're going to do this, this, and this, and this. We have a few key pointers and say, okay, these are the questions that people are asking or whatever, whoever the, the host does. So, well, it's, it's like you are a host. You're with me on my show. So it, it's almost like whatever spirit wants us to talk about is exactly what we're going to be guided to speak about. And that's what I love about living in the moment that yes, the date is set that you're coming on, but what we're going to talk about will, will be whatever's going to be. So take, think about that my friends. And when we get back, we'll get a little deeper. Be right back. Stay tuned. Your conscious lifestyle on steroids. Om Times Radio, IOM FM. As difficult as it is to believe, there are places in Africa where human traffickers sell albino children and their body parts for use in magic rituals. Humanity Healing International is actively working in Uganda to change this paradigm. The Albino Rescue Project finds albino children who are at risk and places them in safe schools and environments where they can learn and grow free from fear. To learn more or to sponsor a child, visit HumanityHealing.org. Humanity Healing is where your heart is. Have you been searching for a perspective beyond the mainstream? Check it out. Join your hosts, Yelito Pasquale and Diana Gold Holland on Share International Radio for thought-provoking views behind the news. Sundays at 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern on Ohm Times Radio. You can also find us at shareontheairradio.org. This may be the message of hope you've been waiting for. How to be a great dad in 15 seconds. Bike ride, go fish, walk in the park, phone call, milkshake, play catch, picnic, fly a kite, tell jokes, laugh, talk, read a story, tell a story, bumper car, swing set, bowling, pillow fight, cut loose, stay tight. Whew. Because the smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Call 877-4DAD-411 or visit fatherhood.gov. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Ad Council. Nation Radio, where today I have my first mystery guest, who we are referring to as I am, and that's simply because we, we again, we want to share the message with everyone, and again, we just letting go of labels, and it, it doesn't really matter, you know, yes, it's Carrie Turcott doing Vibe Nation Radio, but, you know, during the show, let go of who Carrie is and just listen to the message, and this is what this is all about, about us coming into oneness, knowing that, you know, it's the messages, 
that we, we, we are trying to get out there, which are really important. It's not really the name that's attached to it. So we can get deeper into that a little well, bit. Well, standing, standing in the, in the, uh, the, even if somebody wanted to, you know, stand in the, the I am present, you know, and taking a minute and closing their eyes and just, you know, using that, right, I am, mm-hmm. and see, see what they're guided to, um, you know, how they're feeling and, and what, what they're guided, uh, you know, by just even standing in that presence alone, right? Yes, absolutely. <clears throat> not, not truly alone because we never are, but... <laughs> yes, <laughs> but it's, 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 it's a beautiful place when you do get yourself to that centered place that I am of oneness where the monkeys truly are asleep. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. And, you know, very, very... You know, I don't know too many people that can shut the monkeys off for a very long period of time. You know, uh-huh. it's and that's why when we we talk about meditation, you just you know, meditation can be just like listening to music. It's just turning the mind off and and being in the present moment. And before we went to commercial break, we were talking a little bit about that. But I feel that um, some of the conversations we've had with regards to dates are you know, are, so share your your uh, your take on this. I am. Um, well, I, I, you know, because we're so conditioned to, uh, we get excited about dates and, and, uh, you know, uh, especially, uh, I'm not sure how much you've talked about it on the show. I know you and I have talked about it, um, regarding some spiritual or, uh, you know, twin relationships or soul relationships, there are a lot of people out there that are, you know, promoting, um, you know, the, the, the getting together of, uh, you know, on, on specific dates. And for me, I take a real issue with, with some of this because, you know, you're setting yourself up for the expectation and once the date comes and, and passes, um, you know, you're, you're led sort of to this disappointment of we didn't come together or this didn't happen for me instead of just living in the present moment of being, right? Mm-hmm. And, and um, I don't know if you want to add anything to that. As <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> I, 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 I know that, you know, I, I've seen this all too often and it's just really understanding that when you're living in the moment, you're working on your soul and you're, you're you're shifting your vibrations. And a lot of times when people say, Oh, on this date, this date, there's a portal. Yes. You know, they're there. And it's people have to understand that you need to do the soul work so that when this date comes, you can align with the energies that are there. And if you haven't done the soul work, you know, you might not be affected in a way that somebody who truly has and is truly in alignment with the frequencies that are there for the taking on this porthole or this special day. And they can, they truly can shift, but does it mean that, you know, you're going to wake up and you're, you're going to have a gazillion dollars in your bank and Prince Charming or Cinderella is going to be in your bed. Like, you know, it's some people just get too caught up in this and then that day comes and goes and then they get disappointed and then they think there's something wrong with them. When in actual fact, right. that wasn't your soul's calling at that point. So this is something that I teach, and those that follow the Vibe Report know this. Like, we don't get fixated on dates at all. To me, they don't mean – and, again, time is an illusion. Yes, it's very real in this current day in reality, this matrix of this world that we live in. But when it yeah. comes to soul work and creating magic, now that we're in the new, there is, you know, you have to allow the soul to guide the way because the soul knows what it's doing. We do not because we haven't been here before. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. And for me, I often wonder, like, can we imagine, a, you know, a spirituality that integrates the higher spiritual attainment with a fully lived, you know, human life? Is it possible that, you know, the realization of the divine is the realization of a complete humanness? You know, and what does that look like? Yes. <laughs> and, uh-huh. again, I don't think anybody would um, listening in would be able to say, oh, I know. It, again, because we're in this new. And right. this is why it's so important to, you know, live in the moment. Like, if, you know, I've been saying this for a long time, live life like a sunset. You know, live in the moment. Because when you have no expectations or you're not assuming, you can't be disappointed. 
And when people get fixated on dates, they're thinking, oh, this is going to happen, that's going to happen. And imagination can be crazy, especially now. People are creating some pretty crazy stuff in their head, you know. And, you know, again, by by allowing your imagination to, like, go out of control like that and the boys come and take you over, you are in vibrating that out to the universe. So, you know, be careful what you vibe on people. It might become your reality. And a lot of people still vibe on what they don't want instead of what they do want. Uh-huh. You know. Well, and, you know, Western culture really celebrates that sort of fragmented, you know, way, uh, you know, keeping yourself out of yourself. And, you know, the, we become parts or fragmented, you know, along the way, just given, you know, so many influences, you know, outside and in our, you know, our personal personal experiences with that, never mind the out, you know, the outer and the inner sort of work that you know people are are experiencing that we become very fragmented you know and um our real humanness and uh is almost being diminished if not trashed by a you know a materialistic you know consumer machine right yes that 3D instant manifestation is what I'm hearing right yeah. now. Yeah, you know. and it becomes increasingly toxic, you know, being cut off from its own essential, you know, your own essential source of healing, right? Yeah. Divorced from the sacred and, you know, just, and, you know, to, uh, I don't even know what to say, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he just went somewhere, didn't you? <laughs> yes, I did. Yes, I did. Well, again, it's just the pre, it's the the way that we've been programmed, the the preconditioning that we've all, right. you know, and the older you are, the longer you've been in the system. So again, Absolutely. you know, this is something where when I teach with the personality traits that, you know, there are we we are all wired differently when it comes to you know when you think about the aura and you think about the mental and emotional fields, this falls into the, the colors and this allows people to see, you know, do you have um, you know, the million dollar brain, which would be the greens, always logical, need to know why, that you're analyzing everything to death. And when we're in the new, you know, you just got to be because, again, no one truly knows the answers to anything. And this is uh-huh. this is where we're supposed to be. And again, it's embracing the moment saying live life like a sunset. You know, Absolutely. you don't again, when you have a date and you get fixated on that date. And then you're assuming now you allow the ego to come in, the boys come tromping in and say, okay, this is the way it's going to go down, or this is the way the conversation's going to go, and you know you're you're co-creating the end before it's even begun, and then that date comes and goes, and everything that you thought of, none of none of it happened, and it ends up being, oh my gosh, nothing happened, and you spin out of control. And there's uh-huh. nothing wrong with you, my friends. And that's why, I say, like, my followers know, do not get fixated on dates. You are divinely exactly uh-huh. where you need to be. You're on the soul train. And right now, we might be still in this cave, you know, dealing with the boys one last time before we come out in the light tomorrow. But again, we're only there for like 10 or 11 days. And then we go back into the cave again. So, you know, this is about time in, in focusing on self. And again, this is why the importance of, you know, tapping into that oneness, knowing that there is so much magic there to tap into when you're truly in the frequency Uh of love Uh you know and just being like I mean think about some of the crazy things that happened with me over the last few days and you know you're just laughing because you know it's just like yeah I've been open I'm living in the moment and all these wonderful things are just showing up it's just like wow you know being available absolutely being available for them yes and if you, how can you be available for these beautiful moments, my friends, if you're living in the past or if you're too stuck in the future? Uh-huh. You know, I think, you know, this, the, uh, this conversation. That's just, a moment to, to, that's just a moment within itself to take a deep breath and really, truly think when, as soon as you said that, you know, <laughs> is, you know, where, where are you? Are you living in the past? Are you living in the, and a friend of mine once said, interestingly enough, if you've got one, you know, it, it, there's a saying, and of course in English it translates, you know, poorly than it would in another language. But he was saying that if you've got one foot in the in the future and one in the past, you're pissing on the present, right? Yeah. <laughs> and, um, you know, I, I mean, I, it, it translated again to English. It sounds re- it's not magical whatsoever. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
you know, but I mean, truly that, that's what, what ends up happening. And so I, you know, I get this, you know, visual in my head every time we start talking about past, <laughs> past, present and future, you know, where are my feet? Are they together or, you know, yes. is one, you know, where am I aligned? Right. Yeah. And, and, you know, and bring it back to, bring it back to, again, self. Yes. Absolutely. And it's, again, with the energies being that they, the way they are right now, my friends, that, you know, this is truly a dedicated effort on all of us to really, you know, go into that oneness and, uh-huh. and, and be that, you know, I've been calling it the bridge between heaven and earth and, and aligning yourself with Gaia here, knowing that you can channel these energies into your current reality, but most people uh, don't know how to use it because it, it's intertwining. It's not like we're going into complete 3D, uh, 5D vibrations. You uh, know, like we have to be able to channel this, the vibrations into our 3D reality. So, uh, you know, and, and Spirit is saying that a lot of people over the next week are going to have to do the shadow dance. They're going to have to confront the shadow side and, and really, you know, find that oneness in all that, you know, we're not all picture perfect. We're picture perfect for who we are here and now. And you're beautiful just the way you are. You are exactly where you need to be. And too many people beat themselves up over that. You know, uh-huh. that they they think that, oh, I can't do this or do that. And it's like, why? Like, you know what? You, you, you know what you're talking about. Why would you not share this information? And again, you don't need to go deep. But, you know, uh-huh. if you know that a lot of people are dealing with their shadow side right now, and you can just smile and say, hi, how are you? That can allow the shadow to do a dance there in harmony for a few minutes, and it might stay there for the day. Right. And many of us have experienced, you know, various forms of disappointments and disillusionments in our search for spirituality that is adequate for our times. I mean, you know, the spirituality has become so marginalized that, you know, aside from those, you know, false teachers or you know, those that aren't really worthy of discussion, um, you know, there are guys who clearly have some kind of an enlightenment and yet more sort of sort of respect. Yes. So keep that thought, my dear, write it down so you don't forget it. Um, and we will continue this conversation after the commercial break. Stay tuned, my friends. Free your mind with Ohm Times Radio, IOM FM. Have you ever wondered how to change your love paradigm? The secret key is finding a love partnership, not just a regular connection. How do you find these? Through conscious relationships. Ascending Hearts Dating is a dating site for people like you that believes in second chances and a different type of spiritual connection. Try Ascending Hearts for free today at AscendingHearts.com and change your love paradigm. Ascending Hearts, the premier dating community for the spiritually awake. Eros Evolution is where sexuality and spirituality meets. Join me, clinical sexologist Martha Tara Lee, on Eros Evolution on Thursdays, 4 p.m. Eastern, on Om Times Radio. When Dad needed help getting around, I became his driver. Soon enough, it was up to me to be his housekeeper and financial manager, too. When he moved in, I became his cook and even his nurse. But no matter what roles I play, I know I'm still his daughter. We understand the roles you play. So to help, we created aarp.org slash caregiving, where you can connect with experts and other caregivers. Visit aarp.org slash caregiving. Brought to you by AARP and the Ad Council. Welcome back to Vibe Nation Radio. Sorry about that, my friends. I just went into a zone there. (laughs) Alicia, uh, I I want you to move forward, please. Go ahead and hold on a second here. There's somebody coming through. Hold on a second. Woo, where am I going? Okay, I am. Please go ahead and and take over. I'm just going somewhere, my dear. (laughs) Um, That's that's okay. I was just talking about, um, you know, the the teachers that we're we're now sort of experiencing and the disappointments and disillusionments that come with some of this, you know, finding a spiritually adequate, you know, who are spiritually adequate for our times. And 
I think, um, you know, so, a lot of people lately um, in the work that I do have been talking, you know, about the teacher whose enlightenment has, you know, been used for sort of egotistic ends, who manipulates others, and who is sort of incapable of that mature, you know, relationship. Um, I, I think also in saying that, though, our mistake is assuming that people with some sort of attributes of enlightenment are, should be cute, perfect human beings and aren't, aren't learning you know, aren't in that insane sort of, you know, the, the ability to sort of learn as well, right? Yeah. So, well, it's, it's again, it comes down to the heart. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, and I think just the qualities of a spiritually complete human being, right? Like the self-knowledge, self-control, objective knowledge, you know, and when I say like self-knowledge, I, you know, the, the degree in which we know ourselves and, you know, our limitations, our characteristics, the, you know, self-control being the ability to guide and transcend, you know, the prop, promptings of self and objective knowledge being sort of the knowledge of um, uh, both practical needs of life with the objective reality that can be known through the awakened and purified heart, right? And then we get into things like inner wisdom and, you know, and being, right? Uh, inner wisdom being the ability to access the guidance and meaning from within oneself being the, you know, the capacity to remain in a state of presence, to continually witness and experience. And then we get into things like selfless love, right? A love for God. And you know how I feel about this. I don't mm-hmm. use God as, as you know, a, a more of a universal term. And his creations, or, and I don't believe in he, but the creations of the universe, uh, without selfish motives. And, you know, sustain, and sort of sustaining that divine perspective, right? The ability to always see events and people from the highest perspective of love and unity and not slip into egotistic judgments and opinions, right? And yes. then we get into things like divine intimacy where, you know, there's an awareness of one's connection to the divine source. Yes. Absolutely. That's all I wanted to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> as, as my solar plex just went, I just, it sounded like I had lions and tigers and bears coming out of my solar plex there. <laughs> I, you know, I feel like they're saying, let's talk about a little bit about this, these timelines colliding and okay. and how, you know, these are timelines from this lifetime. They're also okay. timelines from past lives. Um, there's also parallel um, timelines that are colliding as well and you know so many crazy things are happening with people thinking wow I was here like this time last year dealing with the exact same thing or um, I know one client that you know she was going out she was driving and she went into auto mode and she ended up in a place where she had been a year to that date dealing with whatever it is that she was dealing with with regards to the boys in her head uh-huh. so like the timeline uh-huh. collided to help heal what had taken place a year ago to realize that, you know, there's soul healing that work still needs to be done. Absolutely. I don't think we're ever finished doing that work. And, you know, this is the interesting thing about our conversations. We're always pushing the boundaries and questioning what's out there and finding, you know, truth, our personal truth within that, right? And, you know, that being such an important part of these timelines sort of re-colliding, right? The personal truth that you stood in a year ago is not the same personal truth you're going to stand in today. You evolve. You grow. I mean, certain things you absolutely may hold on to, but eventually, maybe a year from now, you're ready to let go of those things, and this is the time. And this is universe supporting you and able to, you know, I look at it as, you know, timelines colliding as the ability to look back and say, okay, this is what served me then. This no longer serves my higher self now, and I'm ready to let go, yes. you know? Some people that might, you know, that might happen or they may perceive to have let go, but obviously being able to revisit some of this, you're able to really look at it from a different sort of view, you know, vantage point and viewpoint, right? Yes. 
And a lot of these timelines, too, that are clotting will happen in day flashes or very vivid dreams. And, Absolutely. you know, pay attention, my friends. And there's a lot of dream dictionaries that are online. If, you know, don't try and analyze it if you don't understand how dreams work, because you'll just put something there that really, again, the imagination can be wild. And when, you know, when you look at them, go with the one that resonates with you, because there's a ton of them out there. And you might read something, you're thinking, oh, I don't even know, this doesn't really listen to the soul. You will find something and you're like, okay, this makes sense now. And, you know, this is with the timelines colliding, you know, I know I had a dream not too long ago that took me back to a dream I know I've had in the past. But there was people in that dream that were from my past. So it was almost like, and, and you know, there was other aspects to it and I'm not going to get into it, but again, this is about a timeline that's colliding where, you know, when I, when I put myself into that situation, I think about these people and who we were on a vibrational match back then. It's Absolutely. almost like, I know that I need to heal. We talked about this, you know, this is something right. that we've talked about that because you're connected to these people too. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. And I think the other important thing is, is right now we're, you know, like, we're in, you know, Pisces energy. And the other thing is to never, you know, with that comes a level of sort of um, omissions of truth, right? And sort of this, this deceptive, you know, energy. And so the other the other aspect to when, you know, going searching for this, this, instead of actually searching for it, just allowing that, you know, being and allowing the answers to come to you, mm -hmm. it, it works a lot better within this energy than it does, you know, when, when searching, so yes. to speak, right? Just Absolutely. Just because there is so, so, so much. So just sitting with that and allowing the universe to even speak to you in ways, you know, I mean, the universe speaks to us in several ways, um, you know, whether that be through, you know, seeing repetitive signs, numbers, colors, etc. And I'm sure you've talked a lot about, you know, different things on your show, you know, regard, re regarding this, but, you know, allowing that to sort of come to you. When you think of this animal, what do you think of, yes. right? Instead of searching in a book or, yes. you know, how did it make you feel, right? Yes. And, and really, you know, really sort of taking ownership of, yeah. Um, and, and bringing yourself back to your heart, you know, your yeah. heart space yeah. and, and from there. Yeah, absolutely. And it, it is, it's all about, but those, the reason why I'm talking about the dream, because a lot of people just go completely con out of control when it comes to their dreams. Because uh, I've had a few people send me messages and I'm like, it's not what you think it is. Okay. It's just like, you know, that this belief of, you know, there's a lot of religions out there that see the tarot card as like devil worshiping. And how a lot of people will see the devil card or the death card and think that they're going to die. You know, it's, it's that, that, yeah. that whole illusion that has been created around something that, you know, you turn around like, oh, my God, I had a dream last night. Someone died. You know, who knows? Well, ask yourself, is this something your intuitiveness kicking in and you're getting an information or is this that this person is actually truly going through a rebirth? You know, like this is what I'm saying when you have these dreams, my friends, just you know, spirit's going to give you what you need. And I always say to people, see, get yourself a, a handy dandy notebook and just write down the key things. They're like little, it's like you're getting your, you're creating a connect the dot book because you're going to get all kinds of these signs. And, you know, this is where the SNS soul sisters kick in the, the signs and synchronicities. And, you know, every time you have these moments, you have these dreams, write it down, knowing that later on, you're going to be able to connect these all these signs and synchronicities that are taking place and create the bigger picture of what it is where your soul is trying to take you because they, it doesn't like they come out and say, okay, this is where you're going. This is what you're going to do. You know, we're here to learn. And more than ever, you know, we're in a time where those that are awake right now and, and going through this journey of this awakening process that are, it's like, you know, we're the warriors. We're like, okay, you know what? We chose to go into that bouncy castle first, and we're going to go in that bouncy castle, and we're going to bounce around. We're not going to know where we're going or where we're going to end up, but you know what? We're going to work it out, and we're going to feel our way through this so that when everybody else comes in the bouncy castle, we can kind of say, okay, well, this is kind of what's working, what's not working, and there's many a times where, you know, again, as we're going into the new, things are starting to shift. I, I know that with my words, I'm not saying that we're breaking free or we're releasing anymore. We're healing. You know, I understood that, but 
my words didn't reflect that to people who were listening to me because they didn't understand. So, you know, see this is that we're, we're a soul and we're healing the soul. We can't break free from the soul. It, we've got to heal it. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Right? Uh-huh. Our fragmented self has to become whole. Yes. Absolutely. So it's uh, it's it's just interesting to see. And again, like there's a lot of triggers that are happening with a lot of people as well. And again, not all triggers are of lower vibrations. Yes, you can get those reality slap kicks and punches, and you're like, whoa, you know. But there's other times where you'll get something that triggers you, and it's just a word maybe, and it triggers you, and it reminds you of a dream you had last night that you couldn't remember when you woke up in the morning. Right. Right. Uh-huh. <laughs> As you're laughing, she's... <laughs> and I, 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 I do find that you know the higher you only, are, only because our, yeah, only, only because we know. Right? Yeah. And <laughs> it's it's almost like the signs and synchronous. What we're supposed to the messages that spirit are trying to say to us. A lot of times we're in the moment, living in the moment, and we don't see it. It's afterwards where somebody says something or you see something or you get pulled somewhere and you're like, oh, my gosh, this makes sense now. And this is the, the beauty and the magic of living in the moment. Well, and, you know, this whole energy supports that this makes sense now, not having all of the answers right away, not coming to an assumption, but therefore, you know, waiting. Again, sort of we go back to Pisces energy and, and it being sort of the omission of the truth and, you know, not seeing exactly, not not having the whole answer, and then all of a sudden it coming to you, you know, later. Um, and just, again, that reiterates that whole allowing it to come to you, you know, being open, living from your heart center, and, you know, um, and, and listening, right? Yes, absolutely. Quiet the mind and listen to the soul. Listen to the heart. And uh, it's, Again, this will allow you to to go into that that oneness state, and many call it bliss. So, on that word, bliss, we feel the bliss during the commercial break, my friends, and I will be back with the weekly message. And I am, we'll be back soon. Bringing you the best of the conscious minds in the world. Om Times Radio, your conscious lifestyle on steroids. Being a radio host on IOM FM allows you to build your show on a rich platform with the power of the Internet to fulfill your outreach goals and connect with a very specialized and global online audience, unlimited by time and distance. Om Times Radio will provide you with web relevance, a recognizable conscious brand, and with the standard of excellence that has accompanied every single Om Times endeavor. Host your show with Om Times Radio Network. Dr. Kevin here, and I want to invite you every Thursday, 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern, to join me on The Dr. Kevin Show, where we have a diversity of guests who help you step outside the box, behind the curtain, and see what a load of crap is going on in the world today, so you have more information with which to make better decisions. We'll see you there. Namaste. Hello, I'm John Lithgow. Manatees are unique among the most amazing animals on Earth, but they're endangered. We pose the greatest threat to their survival. Many manatees are killed or injured by boats or other recreational activities. I'm a writer of children's books, including one about manatees, and I believe education is the key. You can be part of the solution. Please contact Save the Manatee Club right now. Call 1-800-432-JOIN. Thank you. Radio, where today I have my first mystery guest by the name of I Am. And this is the time in the show where I tap into spirit and get a message for the upcoming week for all those that are listening in, either live or those that listen in afterwards. You know, they want to talk about letting go of self-imposed fears right now and how there's so many that are still vibing on what they don't want instead of what they do want. And spirit is saying, please sit down and think about this. 
Okay. They, 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 they're saying that a lot of people are still vibing on, you know, I, I don't know where I'm going. Am I taking the wrong road? Am I going down the wrong road? You know, it's, and this is because of past and they're saying they want you to really go within deep this week. And to do a lot of soul solitude, because if you're out there in crazy land, they're saying your impatience is going to come out like no tomorrow. They're saying that this is dry. There's a lot of impatience happening on a vibrational level. And this is about a time for you to go in and realize that by going in the one, you are safe. You are safe in the one. You are part of the one. You are part of the divine. And too many people are still vibing that they still have to watch their back. And, you know, things aren't going quick enough for me. And, you know, this is causing an internal meltdown. A lot of people are not seeing their self-worth. And they're saying a lot of people that are listening in will also be dealing with a lot of family drama, that timelines are colliding or certain things that need to be able to be released because there's a vibration of the planet that we really need to work on right now. And they're basically saying this is all about the justice of where we're going, that, you know, we have the ability to bring justice into this world, by filling it with that love, but so many people still put the energy on that. It's not going to come home to success because the, the energy, the flame has gone out there and spirit is saying, this is simply not the case. So use the energy of the full moon that we just had and do some internal work, do some, you know, write down, write journal, get rid of stuff, go outside, do some burnings, do some releasings and, and heal whatever it is that needs to be healed and, and focus on where you're going, knowing that you're going to need patience for this. But you're going to have to stand up for yourself and and really realize that life can, can go fairly quick and smooth and safe, but you have to get yourself into that vibration. And it starts with yourself, finding that that inner, that inner wisdom, that knowledge, that, that strength that you have within you, knowing that justice is being served when you truly see your self-worth, knowing that you will come home to success to where you go. You just got to relate the flame within yourself right now. So, Alicia, I, I, I know I said your name earlier, so, and I don't know why I just said it again, because I'm totally in a channel, so, so much for the mystery guest. Anyways, <laughs> we know the way spirit works, but, you know, I, I know you're being pulled into this, because I'm being pulled into it even deeper, so please go ahead and, and add your little, your message, my dear. Well, and I think the important thing to, you know, to realize is we're all students in the school of law. Right. Yes. And although it may take us a long time and much suffering sort of to admit this fact, um, you know, we, we, you know, we tend to refuse to see this obvious. And it's amazing how stubborn and slow we are and how often we, you know, we still forget. Right. Mm -hmm. We forget when we think ourselves more important than others or whatever we see our own desires and goals as more important. And then you know, feelings and well-beings of those we love. We forget whenever we blame others for what, you know, what our, um, ourselves have been guilty of, right? You know, that whole, I'm blaming you for doing this, but I'm still doing it, you know? <laughs> we forget whenever we lose sight of the fact that we're in this school of love. And, you know, it's love that we're all trying to learn. Yes. Beautiful. I like that that little scenario there, dear. It's, and we've all been failures at love, too. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> On you know, so many different levels. And, and, and to be honest with you, this is sort of our conscious, you know, starting point, right? Yes. To understand that we've all been there. We are, we're all in the school of love, and we're all trying to learn. And we've all, you know, failed at this. And, you know, so this, this being the starting point of that, right? Yes. Absolutely. Embracing the unknown, right? Uh -huh. Living life like a sunset, which is so important, my friends. It, it really, I, and I know that I've been saying this for a while, but those that truly are understanding, you know, live life like a sunset and, and, and working with it, beautiful things are starting to appear in people's lives because, again, we're in the news, so you want to vibrate on those beautiful vibrations, the frequencies of love, but you don't want to attach them to what you think they should be. Allow the universe uh -huh. to do it. And again, you know this because the universe has thrown some pretty crazy stuff my way. And it's just, you know, accepting it yeah. and being open and, and, and saying whatever is meant to be will be. Well, and this uni the universe itself is an expression of love. You know, we live in an ocean of love. But it's because 
it's so near to us, we sometimes need to be shocked or hurt or experience some loss in order to be aware of the nearness and the importance of love. Mm -hmm. You know, a friend told me once about this, you know, story about, again, you know, a little fish that was, you know, that was told without water, it could not live, and it became very afraid. And so, you know, it swam to its mother and trembling and told her about the need for water. And the mother said, water, my darling, is what we're swimming in. Yes. <laughs> kind of goes with Sorry, the Pisces. I just went there. <laughs> it's, it's so did I. I just thought, well, here comes that Pisces energy a little bit right now. And Again, we could talk about astrology forever here, but again, this is the energy that we're going through with right right now. Yeah, absolutely. Are you are you still there, my dear? Yes, I am. Do you hear me? Yes, I kind of lost you there for a moment. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, it's, I was I was on my journey. Of <laughs> yes, he went on that soul train, did you, into the cave? <laughs> So, again, my friends, just know I, I'm getting that. Um, I'm just looking at some of my notes here that we basically will go back into that cave on the 26th. So from tomorrow, the 14th, until the 25th, we are out of the mountain and we're riding along that mountain and getting clarity, just taking in the moment, knowing that, you know, we are playing the new game of life. And it's all about feeling your way. You know, you, you know, yes, you need to use your mind, but you need to ensure that your mind is balanced with your heart. Uh-huh. Right? I mean, that's a whole other show in itself about the masculine and the feminine. And <laughs> <laughs> so, <clears throat> so those that are listening in, if you, you know, just like the fact that we're just going with a discussion of wherever spirit is guiding us to go, and you enjoy this, you know, send me a message at carryturcott.com. You can send me an email directly, and I'll bring I am back on. And, you know, this is just, you know, let's go a little bit deeper into this stuff. There is no wrong or right to this. It just is. You know, and this is where we don't want, you know, when we're talking about the duality and oneness again, that, you know, in the duality of, um, the winner lows wrong or right, that's a duality we don't want people to vibe in because we are in a duality world. Uh-huh. So it's seen the difference between the two and how you can live in this duality world in the vibration of oneness. Correct? Correct. You're, you're, you're going into another state of mind. I can feel it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so... Um, <laughs> Stay, you know, just know that the energy right now, my friends, is causing this. Again, we've got a lot of, you know, Pisces energy, and we've got um, Chiron coming in, do we not, my dear? And Yeah, Aries is um, Venus, and uh, uh, Venus is starting its new cycle in Aries, and that could be a show all within itself. Um, we also have Chiron that's starting a new, a new cycle, and... Um, yeah, I mean, there's so much astrologically sort of going on, and I think you have um, Chris Onefeather coming on to talk about some of that stuff as well. Yes. Um, probably, is it next week? No, it's the week after. It's oh, uh, after. Okay. Yeah, the end of the month. It's the charting the tides yes. of life. Yeah, so I'm sure he'll, he'll talk about it, um, which is a good, you know, he's a great guy and, and somebody definitely to tune into it with regarding to astrology. So. Um, and and that sort of, those sort of cycles coming coming when he's co- actually coming on the show. So yes. I'm sure he'll talk about it a little bit more as well. Absolutely. So my friends, just again take a deep breath. Just know that we're all in this together, and you know spirit is guiding many of us to go deep into soul solitude this week and really find the oneness within all and know that you are truly worthy of this life your soul wants to live. But you need to work with the higher self. You need to work with the power up above because they are the ones that know the magic. We do not. We're still in that, you know. Well, and this this brings up like a perfect story to sort of interject here. Yeah. But this brings up something that uh, a class that I was recently in, um, the instructor um, talked about this. Um, I don't know uh, practice. And what it is is simply, 
you know, when you hear your head and you're trying to figure out and you're living in this world of, you know, distraction, um, saying, I don't know. We don't have to know the answers right now, right? Yes. And just continually saying that. If you're feeling anxieties about your day, if this is overwhelming for you, um, you know, just stand in your present self and say, I don't know. It takes you out of your head and actually back into your heart space, yes. right? Absolutely. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, you know, this so is... I, thought, yeah, I just thought it was a practice that um, was really insightful when I went to this course and would love to share it with your listeners. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, and I mean, that's what this is all about, my friends. It's sharing the love. It's, sh you know, this, this, this is about, we are all this beautiful piece of this puzzle and we are all very unique. We all create a, a part of the puzzle. And this is about sharing the love, knowing that by coming together, even today with I am, that we're sharing the wisdom and knowledge of conversations we've had. Gosh, I, I mean, again, if I could even go there. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, it's, it's this is and what we remember that that love is speaking us. That yeah. love's brought us here. Whether we know it or not, love nudges us to make plans, to seek relationships, and to create the possibility of meeting hurt right yes it puts the pen to paper puts the word to tongue you know love is not the goal of anything it's the cause of everything yes nice i like that one <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna end it on that note sister so thank you all my friends for tuning into my base radio have a beautiful week with you know so solitude go in there and find yourself and i will see you all next week on my Nation Radio. Thanks a lot, I am. I truly appreciate you being on the show. Have a wonderful week, friends. Bye.